hello, hello, welcome to Blabby Podcast Four. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth, fourth or third one? Fourth, you know. Fourth, you know. It's only happening. Is it really fourth? Um, yeah, Freddy? it is getting better. Ooh. Fourth. Yes. Yeah. Right, listen up. We've got, this is the Christmas special. We've got uh, Christmas things happening. <laughs> and, but before we get into it, make sure you follow us on Spotify, watch our videos on YouTube, subscribe to the Ab YouTube. Ab YouTube, that's Ab YouTube. it. It's all on there, that's it. Ab we're, YouTube, is yeah, it? Yeah, we're on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and send in any pictures you have of plates to rate on our Blabby podcast. Have you got pictures today? To yeah, be okay. told. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got meals to rate. <laughs> we want meals to rate. We want dilemmas. We want any questions you have, anything for answering for Sweet Ed over here. Okay. All right. Yes. How are you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling festive. That's good. You're not usually a festive person. So no, no, but, but we, because we, we got a nice present for your mum, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, true. We can't say it. We can't say it. <laughs> It is, it is nice, it is nice. Yeah. It is doing the thing. I'm sure we'll do a video on it. Yeah, we'll do a video. Uh, we think so. Yeah. All right, what's happened so far this week? Oh, Sainsbury's bust up. Oh. Sainsbury's bust up. <coughs> That's, so, um, do you, uh, uh, should I tell the story? You just say a bit of it first. No, you tell it. I want to hear what it's saying okay. from your okay. side. Okay, so we were at Sainsbury's um, in Apsley. That's in uh, um, Hemel. And we were shopping, and all of a sudden I saw these cakes like never seen before. It's like yeah, they were. Um, prosecco, this and um, stuff that I'd never yeah, seen before. Prosecco, panettone. They had this big chocolate bomb. Yeah, with with with, uh, with a bit of alcohol in them. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, and I looked at them. And I said, "Say that we got to do a video." So we got we got the camera, and then we started doing a video. And then all of a sudden, I I saw a lady. Who works there? You know, scraggy hair, looks about seventy-five years old, and she says, um, I, "I know what you're doing. You're going to put this on YouTube." And I, so obviously, she didn't know what she's talking about because she obviously heard from what yeah. came but out from they her. were looking. We were me and I you. I can't them. lie. We I didn't were, see them. I was filming you from. I could see them in my peripheral. Um, yeah. Yeah. And me and you, I can't lie, we were absolutely kicking out. We were like, oh, we're so funny. It was funny. It was, yeah. it was, it and, was funny. And then I was looking over at the staff to be like, okay, is there a problem? Is there a problem? Tell me now. Like, it's okay. I'll step out. And then, um, then but no, no problems. They didn't say anything. Come to me, whatever. And then when we finished, about to go. About to go. And then the woman came out. I know what you're doing. I know yeah, what you're doing. I know what scraggy, you're doing. Some scraggy. I'm not, I swear to God, she looked like a homeless person. I, did, I was surprised. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not actually, because I filmed her. And when she started being rude, I filmed her. And then she said, I know what you're doing. And I said, oh, is there, um, I said, well, I can film here. You don't own sense. She said, I don't own sense, but I know you're a prat. And I thought, well, so I, then I took my camera. I'm like, well, did you, what did you call me? And I kept asking, no, just get out. If you put on Sainsbury's um, website, she didn't have a clue what she's talking about. That's why I'm surprised I said that. I didn't know whether she worked there or not. She's like some homeless person that had been, um, whatever, a homeless 75-year-old scraggy-haired woman. Mm. And um, so anyway, um, th th then, I, then I, I said, no. She goes, I said, no. I, I replied, when she was swearing, when she was saying all of that, if you put it on the uh, Sainsbury's channel, she kept saying Sainsbury's channel, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> Since we channel YouTube, I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, like, she said that mm -hmm. I'm, I, I, we do social media. And then I said, let's fuck all you can do about it. And she goes, all right, stop swearing at me. I'm going to call the manager. And then they call the manager. He stood there. And then the, um, the um, security guy, an African guy, he said to me, I spoke to him before because we were talking about Africa. That's the reason why I said African guy. I started talking. And then he said to me, um, can you, it, it, right, that's it. Leave, leave. Wasn't it? It's like, I wanted to leave. And I'm like, okay, we hadn't even finished our shopping. We've been kicked out. And then, luckily, some witnesses had seen it. The altercation, and they came over and said, well, no, no, no. This, she said this, she said that. And then um, then the security guy, um, and then, then the manager came and he was quite nice to us. He took, you know, the name of the witness, you know. Yeah, we, yeah, he's very respectful. Very respectful, the guy. I think his name was Jack. He said his name was Jack. He's quite respectful afterwards. But, I mean, I, 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 what I said to him, if... if are we not allowed to film in here? Because I'm sure there's a sign outside that says you're not allowed to film. I'm like, well, if there's a sign there, it's not very clear. 
Mm. You know. And I came in with the I came in with the phone with the microphone in my hand, and um, people know you. They knew you what you're doing. It was the area that you always go to. So if and and also we, when we were filming, there wasn't a problem. So no, don't watch. leave it till the literal end of the filming. Yeah. To, to make a thing saying, oh, you can't film it. Even if she said during the filming, oh, I don't think you can film here, or did you check the policy? Then it would be like, okay, fair enough. But not straight up, I'm going to call you a prat, and then maybe you'll... She just looked like a very story. unhappy person. I, I, I'm I sorry, but she just looked like a very unhappy person. I mean, yeah, it's well, like... Well. A, and I, even afterwards, I thought, you know, you know, somebody seems a very unhappy person. I mean, if, if I, she had a problem, there's a way of talking to people. And I don't know how, what kind of people it says. Uh, I suppose to be one of the managers I heard. Yeah, yeah, heard, yeah. She's one of the seniors. She's so, she's so rude. And I'm told there's no need thing. for it. Maybe when you get old and suck, get stuck in your ways, like I am, then you don't want to, you know, you'll be rude to people. <laughs> but yeah. When does that start? What? What start age you become just sucking your ways and. No, but. You yeah, prat. Yeah, but I know, prat. I mean, yeah, I suppose, it, like in the, in the somebody. One of somebody in the gym came to me and he said to me, oh, Odie, I've got a, um, he took, taking a screenshot of something that somebody has said on social media, or oh, this person was saying that about you. I'm like, dude, that's what I want. I want people to, I want, I want the. Yeah, because if you're not, ma you're making a noise in, uh, in, in any consumer, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's it's gonna happen it's gonna because happen, yeah. you're shaking the industry really. Do you know I I I, I don't know. Your big what, mouth. I don't know what you think about big mouth. You know I don't know what you what you think about this, but I want to try and get some of the messages that I get. Some of the hate messages. But they were so funny. I've been getting some foul ones recently. <laughs> oh my days! It's because I put this guy's um, <laughs> message up on my story, but I didn't I, I didn't at them. Yeah. And I hid the name. But oh, they did not like it. <laughs> oh, no, they, they're so stupid. Somebody so, said to me, so oh, "I'm good. gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna fuck your dead mum, and I'm gonna, yeah. say, um, yeah, I'm gonna fuck it." I'm like, what, what, why do people? It's just it's funny. It's cool. Yeah, there was one in the same <laughs> sentence. Um, I'm gonna like sexually assault you, and then you've got a massive forehead. I'd never go near you. In the same <laughs> two messages, I think some might say you're confused. No, but I, 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 you realise that. There's some really crazy people. Then the thing is, we're putting ourselves out there. Then that, all I can say is that I find them funny. Yeah, yeah, you know, I do the, find them really I, I find them hilarious. And the more people, like some of them put videos up, and you see these guys write a massive, big, long prose. I'm like, dude, this is social media. No one gives a shit. You're not going to change the world like that. You know, and if you check on their profile, they actually follow you. I'm like, well, if you think I'm a ticket, don't follow me. But yeah, that's yeah. social media, isn't it? We yeah, like the engagement. Yeah, yeah. So please don't stop. It is what it's it not is. So it's funny. <laughs> um, new things, other things. Merch. New merch is here. We've got yep. some T-shirts. We've got the T-shirts. Yeah. We've it. got more coming on the 29th, and we're going to be trying to send the T-shirts that have been ordered yeah. before Christmas, so they get to you for Christmas. Yeah, they love them. We've ordered, but they were trying to get the ones um, today or tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Send them. It's a bit. It's quite hectic, doesn't it? Yeah. For you, I know. It's, it's, it's all good, to be honest. We had um, HMRC come and getting tax yeah, audited. Yeah, yeah, and I was just stressing unnecessarily. Yeah, everything was fine. It's gone now. It's all good. But I, um, yeah, when but it's but happening, it it's just like... Of course, uh, it's stressful. We've got to, yeah, of course, we've got to make sure everything... And, you know, and it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. Running a business is not, it's not straightforward. It's not it? as fun as they made it seem. You know, um, <laughs> well, you know it, it's you, you no know, sleepless nights. And remember when we had to move in here... You know the crap that was going on, and mm. you know, uh, uh, no, you. I think we're in Cornwall. Yeah, Cornwall, yeah, Cornwall, Cornwall. You never really saw most of it, you know. And at the same time, we're just like there's a um, one of the idiots in here who was a PT. I helped him out a lot. They decided to open a gym right across the road, yeah, and yeah. they started gym, and then telling people that I'm closing down. Said so lots of stuff, and I'm thinking, good, you're an idiot. You, I've been doing this all my life. You think I'm going to close me down? They opened the gym, the sole purpose of closing me down. Yeah. Told yeah. everybody, told my members. And it was coming to me, trying to get my PTs. I'm like, you know what? I'm a survivor, man. I, I, I left when I was 14 and I know how to... Just roll with it. To roll with it and survive. And um, here we are. Coming nicer, there was a lot of times where we were worried about the gym or yeah. I was worried about pro but yeah. it's a bit more stable. Absolutely, kind of, a bit yeah. More stable. I mean, we can't really complain, you know what I mean? Mm. We, we, we've... We've done well out of our ebooks, especially. We don't, yeah, you know, yeah. we can't complain. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. 
You were supposed to have an interview. I put it. We put it in here because it was, to, it was gonna happen, but then it did not happen. With somebody with them um, from, from the Daily Mail. Okay, so so we got an an, um, an, an email from somebody who says it's from the Daily Mail, and then the email it was like um, you know Hitler's book Mein Kampf. There's no punctuation in the whole email. <laughs> And the person signed it for somebody who's supposed to work for Nisbet Bank. Uh, yeah. I, I think it was a scam. There were too many type. Uh, oh, yeah. And we God. looked on, we looked online, we checked them out, and it Is looked it legit, LinkedIn, but yeah. mm, no, no. anything can look legit nowadays. I, I, I'm sorry, but I know these days you've got to be inclusive and you've got to employ, you know, um, maybe dyslexic. I, I'm, 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 I've got reading, we've got some, you know, I struggle to read, like, I'm not struggling to read, but... You're telling me. Yeah, it, I, I, I skip words. Yeah, yeah. It's like your brain is just like... Too oh, fast. that's one <laughs> paragraph. I'm just going to absorb that as a paragraph. But you don't actually what's in the paragraph. And we're the same, man. So stupid. I'm really... I, I, like, I was a, this happened when I was at school. I was at school. I don't know how old I was. I was 10, 11. The teacher asked me to write a story. I wrote a really nice story. And, um, and the, she was the teacher. The teacher read it. And she goes to me, did you write that? Because I was older. So, did you write that? And I said, yeah. And she goes to me, now stand up and read it, uh, because it's a really good, and stood up. And I was, I was reading it, but I'm um, yeah, sort of stuttering. She goes to me, no, you didn't write it. And I said, yes, I wrote it. And she upset me. And I said to her, if you want to write you another story. She said, okay. She sat me in the corner and I wrote a different story. She goes to me, so you can read, but you can write, but you can't read. Mm. It's not that I can't read. I skip over my brain. seems to be too fast for um, you know, working too fast, skipping yeah, words. Yeah. I think I know. In I think you're a bit like that as well. Yeah, massively. <laughs> Look, the first time we did these dilemmas, I was reading them out. I was actually like, I'm gonna vomit. I can't do this. <laughs> but then the write, my writing is impeccable. Yeah, Same. yeah. This is, all, this is crazy, isn't it? Mm, yeah, because I really used to enjoy creative writing <laughs> at school. But then when she's like, read this paragraph, uh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that you cannot read. It's like. I find reading so much, considering that I did A level English it's literature. tedious, isn't I don't know. it? I used to I read uh, the books that we, E.M. For, um, Forrester, I used to read Arthur Miller, all these books, and I used to read all the books and thinking, I didn't even know how I did it. I t- it took me to read every book about six times. Mm, literally, so. Yeah, because I can read a whole book and then just think, oh, did I, <laughs> what did just, did I clock <laughs> any of that? I don't know. I don't know. That was not ingested. I'm more interested in what's in my head than just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's coming up? We've got our New Year's coming up. We've got family coming over for Christmas. I mean, oh. I feel like we talk about Eva every single time, but <laughs> we're just obsessed with her. <laughs> yeah, I suppose because we see Brandon. Um, Brandon's here. He's not yeah, too fast. Yeah, yeah. We see him all the time. But, but Eva, because last time, I suppose the last time we saw Eva... We were all away on holiday, so we never yeah, actually got to... Yeah, it doesn't even feel like she was came she, yeah. home, like we chilled yeah, with her. So we all went out and whatever, so it's a bit... Um, yeah, we want to we wanna sort of just mong out yeah, at yeah. home. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice for her to be here. You know, like, if we, we, when she comes in, we just try not to... We try to wanted to see her friends. It's, just <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're grounded. <laughs> but she even doesn't mind, does she? No, no, I think she loves she it. She loves me just sit there, but can we not It sounds like that we're just obsessed with yeah. it. And it, but it's nice that because we're seeing Brandon like more or less every week now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Get, it's yeah. like, it just gets you excited. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you look forward to Christmas. All right, current news. As it is the Christmas special, we are going to talk about a way to do Christmas without eating large amounts of shit. <laughs> Christmas has been attached to consumption of processed goods, all sorts of things, usually American things, like mostly, and they've just come down here. For example, like Coca Cola, that was the whole invention of Santa being red, that's mm-hmm. just Coke mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Advent candles, candy canes, like giving this candy crap canes. as presents, right. Christmas tree chocolates. Do you remember I used to, <laughs> used to get these lint ones from this guy? One of, one of my friends, oh, um, one of my clients, um, Phil, Phil, Philip Ambrewster, he's um, from Switzerland. And it's, he lived very close to where they make lint mm. um, chocolate. So every Christmas, you'd get me, like, you know, the um, tree, what do you call it? Yeah, them? yeah. Um, things that hang on the tree. Lots of them. I never liked them. They were too, like, mi- creamy. I didn't yeah. like milk. So they were kind of yeah. too wet yeah. and milky. I me. never really ate them. I don't even know who ate them. Most mm. of it, like, I probably ran in Selena, Eva. Mm. Scoff them all. <laughs> and lots of tree, um, crisp, um, yeah, chocolate on the trees. Quite mm. nice, aren't they? Yeah, every they year, you used to get them. <laughs> but yeah, no, <laughs> probably not the best thing to be eating. And um, the, I think people, sorry, um, I, I've got we had a community, and yesterday when they're doing the, 
the, the Zoom call we do, like a, we've got a, we started a new community, and the first two days we got about 650 people, and you got people like yesterday the community when you're talking, there were people like those from Nigeria, from Australia, from Canada, from a lot from India, it's all around the world, all around the world, and it's just it's really nice. And when you're talking to them, this Eddie, uh, it's it's um, two whatever in the morning, but I have to stay up and talk to you. Thank you for changing, saving my life. Because the thing is, I don't think we realize what we're actually doing. They, they all like we watch. I watch you. I watch your daughter and watch my son. You've changed how um, Does my people family think about food. Really, and it's, it's simple. We're keeping everything simple. Mm. Just cook, because there's so much bullshit out there. And when um, it, it, like on social media, you get so much hate with all these guys going, oh, you, because people don't really get it. They look and see one of your videos and they want to judge you. But when you get that kind of feedback, you realize that you're doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? it really is. Some positive, some positive comments. I bet you get some yeah, messages as well. Yeah, yeah. I just got a, some really nice words. It's there. nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it does make my heart go. Yeah, because you know that you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Even, even if you manage to save, like, we're we saving more people. We have more people than. Um, the tickets in the fitness industry which is like yeah. they just honestly they, they, there's a lot of jealousy obviously because what they're doing um, it's like uh, I, I believe that we, um, we're changing a lot of people's sort of mindset with regards to food yeah. because the food is simple you know, you know after training anyway yeah there's, but there's a lot of not foods out there being sold as food I know I mean just because it's FDA approved doesn't mean it should be in you <laughs> I know that's true Right, Just so because something is safe doesn't mean something is safe doesn't mean it's healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, it. yeah, that's really good. It was the truth though. If, if something is safety doesn't mean healthy. Mm. You know, a lot of things you think, oh, don't worry about it. Cocoa pops, you'll be all right. But if you eat cocoa pops, your body will. I think, I think we are lucky. I cannot. Yeah. If you eat that, you. Literally I'm get the so trots. sensitive. So, yeah. so, so am I. And I, I just think that we are lucky because other people don't get the warning until later on, and the doctor says, oh, God, that illness. What's wrong? So you eat like cocoa pops, you take. Mm. <laughs> yeah so here are some christmas alternatives so instead of like advent calendars my sister got this um she got this harry potter one and you have to get a one to like see all the numbers and uh what else? it is a bit wild but um but it's more fun do you know what i mean rather than sugar. just exactly yeah. and in the morning when you get it that's the worst time for a kid to be eating it Cause but like, but, what? but it's just... difficult to say that to parents. Oh no, it's my one chocolate. Yeah. Like that. But you do it for twenty how yeah, many yeah. days? That's crazy. And it's Christmas. You're like, oh, go on, go on. Uh, how many things do you do that about in a day? I, mean? I, I think um, when I think when you say that to parents, they don't realize that you know most of the children's behavior, most of their all this ADHD, all of them, it's coming from uh, sugar. Sugar yeah. is causing a lot more problems than we realize. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are waking up to it. You know. And I'm glad about that. Yeah, because we've had a few messages from parents saying yeah. that I've been where I've been cooking real food, proper meals. They have their behaviour is improved. Changed. I know. That's that. And that is sometimes what all parents are actually craving, just like to yeah. to know that their kid. Oh, I don't know actually what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, but, but just I don't know. I, I think that you know when when you guys were younger, we we're doing our best, but then sometimes the knowledge is a bit limiting because you've been told being brainwashed, the TV, everything is on the TV. So a lot of parents don't realise that what your child eats actually affects their behaviour, affects their personality, mm. affects everything about them. And I think as soon as, you know, there's a woman uh, who messaged yesterday, actually put a amazing story, it's there now. And she's like, you know, my um, eight, I don't know how old the baby is, is eating exactly what we eat, eating avocado, is eating eggs and all of that. She goes, thank you for saying I'm changing my life. And you think, that's in place like Australia yeah, and you just yeah. think wow you didn't realize that what you're doing is reaching a lot of people yeah yeah social media can really get listen on Insta, on, when I told you on your mum's birthday we went away um I went away with your mum and we were sitting and I got my my um social that's like um end of July mm. and I got my um we we're looking at Insta and I had 55.7 thousand followers today we got 755,000 followers. Madness. It's like magic. I don't know. It's, it's like magic. <laughs> Christmas magic. You know, it, it could, I mean, I never thought, um, and it's the engagement, because we're helping a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that people are realising that, finally, it's all about food. Most of what's wrong with us is about food. Mm. And as soon as you realise that, you know, we're laughing. So other um, alternatives, 
m- most of it is just cook it yourself. Like packaged stuffing is shocking. It tastes dirty oh, for one, yeah, yeah. and you can make it so much nicer if you if you want to have um, pork mince, some breadcrumbs, herbs. That is all that's in a stuffing. But because they have to make it last super long. You have to pump so much into it, like something to Preserve take it. the moisture yeah, yeah. out, yeah, yeah. something to introduce the moisture back in, but keep it moist. So there's so many things that are you have to add to make something have a sh- any shelf life. A long shelf life. Okay. So yeah. yeah, it's just something to be aware of. I mean, uh, you guys made um, proper. You guys made this stuffing. Was it last week? And um, <laughs> I took some home, and I have had some like it's so just. I'd get my meat and all that chopping and blend. Yeah, lots, yeah, and it was really nice. It was really nice. I mean, mm. and uh, it's it's nice. I suppose yeah, you mixed it with I think some pork belly or something. Like, oh, mixed so it with some pork belly. Had delicious. some um, mushrooms. Had some liver. Had some um, tomatoes. Had some sprouts. It was, mm. I was living. I was living a life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, like, I cook every day. Yeah, you do now. I know. Uh, why not? Yeah, it's actually really rewarding. I love to cook. Obviously, I do. But so no, you know what you're eating, don't you? Yeah, you know, yeah. I think we. I know. I get so anxious going to restaurants sometimes because I'm just even if I know 100 percent what what I'm eating is chill and it's fine and I've read the allergen menu. I'm just thinking I've been in restaurants before. Oh, a, a little parmesan on that spoon, yeah. and I'm that sensitive that. I don't want to be that person but who's like, oh, actually, I think I saw a bit of a speck of parmesan. No, no, no. But then I am. I am have to be. But, but you see, somebody Otherwise would have diarrhea in your restaurant. Somebody would think, oh, no, that's a bit extreme. But that's the foods that make you feel yeah, um, yeah. well. Yeah, and when I'm out, you don't want to be bloated. You don't want to be tired. No, yeah. You don't want to be feeling sick, have diarrhea. And I've had all those things in public, and it's horrible. So yeah, I just that, don't want to go through it again. No, you don't get, because of what you eat, yeah. you don't get any of that. Mm. Simple as that. I mean, just like with me and um, cheese. Yeah. I, I've I've only had some goat cheese. I, I've just I'm, I have to give cheese a break up now. Yeah. You do. <laughs> goat cheese, I think, is actually all right. Yeah. But that's like, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. That's all right. I can handle it. And then he's like, oh wait, actually, actually, <laughs> why have I have a severe pain in and my then, stomach? I mean, that happens all the time. But then I, I, I it's I, I'm better now, though, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. I think um, maybe. What do you mean better? No, but, but I don't have a, a cheese. I'm not really oh, right, doing right. the cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing the cheese. I, I, I did it I thought last you were trying week. to convince yourself that you are reacting. <laughs> like, no, no, no. The reaction is not going really to change. You're just ignoring it. You're just soldiering on, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no need to. <laughs> I've cut it down. Yeah, massively, massively. And you, you've noticed the difference, anyway. Absolutely. That's no, what's never... <laughs> And that should go to show to people that it is actually hard to give up something that you love. Yeah, I know. But um, if it genuinely benefits you, your mental health, your stomach, I, I, have yeah, it once in a while. Just I don't be so reliant. No, I've had to give it up because I know it doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. save me well. But then at least, when well, I look at this, our bodies are warning us. Yeah, yeah. So we don't, you know, other people don't have, are not so lucky. They wait until later on. They think, oh, why have I got this problem? Why have I got, you know. Yeah, literally. But cheese was the hardest thing for me to give up, without a doubt. Cheese and peanut butter. All right. Also, they have, like, little snacky things after your dinner. Uh, Sorry, just a disclaimer here. We're not saying don't enjoy your Christmas. (laughs) I just mean if you want to enjoy the Christmas without feeling disgusting the whole time. Like, my mum sometimes, if she eats sugar, she'll instantly feel sick. And yeah. she only really eat it at, ate it at Christmas, yeah. like with Christmas puddings and stuff. So it's just... Um, or she fall asleep. Or she, <laughs> she fall asleep. Or she like, fall asleep at seven o'clock. And we'll all get so excited about our food, but everybody <laughs> sit down, we all chill. I oh, know. Yeah. And then you think... Well, with a spoon of Christmas cake <laughs> in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, swapping out like these snacky things, usually have like, like honey roasted bollocks for like... Good quality nuts, walnuts. Um, I think all sorts maybe people we'll realize that there is a lot of um, you know marketing behind Christmas. Oh. Just marketing behind yeah. Christmas. Yeah, some people it, just rely on Christmas as their main thing source, so they're gonna have it's to really of, sell. Them. Yeah, they have to sell a lot of stuff. But I'm not obviously you're um, hitting someone's pocket when you tell people to be to be healthy. But come on, you don't let you don't you ruin your health. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. No have diarrhea because I feel sorry for the business. It's not worth it. Does For me, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to just buy it, I'm but not eat it. I'm going to die for your business. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right and other things dips and stuff really popular just yeah. make your own you can make they your can own, be yeah. really easy the tomato yeah. sauce is on the recipe especially on the community you have yeah. recipes yeah. on yeah. there really good easy to make and don't i my tip is with um christmas dinner have a small breakfast before like some eggs before so that you're not starving you're actually hungry oh my god i want to eat so much i want to yeah, eat, I eat. Yeah. and then when you eat it's actually like Ugh. That, that's a good trick all carbs it? in you if that you, one if you get up in the morning you just have let's say eggs yeah have like, about four or five yeah eggs. yeah and then you, you will not feel hungry because eggs are quite satiating eggs are, and then they keep your insulin level steady and then when you eat, you find you don't overindulge. Yeah, that's yeah, what I find. Exactly, it helps a lot exactly. of my clients. Because it's so hard to when yeah. you're serving yourself out, be like, yeah. oh yes, when you're. Obviously, hungry. enjoy your Christmas. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, but enjoy. By, by the way, are we going to have um, roast dinner? There's not really crazy much wrong with a roast dinner, really. No, no because because in the past we have roast dinner last year. Yeah. Mm. Was it lamb? I think we always we lamb. It. Yeah. We're yeah. making lamb. We've got pork belly. We've got. Chicken. chicken. Eva likes chicken. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a turkey. I'm not really. No, do none of us really never, turkey. Yeah. Mum used to turkey, but she'd no. be the only one eating a whole turkey. So <laughs> she's a very little yeah, woman. Like, back in the day, she made like twenty different dishes. They have the leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and it's proper stress actually. Cooking. I remember this one time. I think it was the first time I cooked Christmas dinner. So I was maybe about seventeen, and. Um, Mum cooked the turkey and she thought she she cooked it nicely but she thought she overcooked it and she was like she started crying I felt so bad because no, it's a lot of pressure actually yeah. when you're doing it no. good pressure no, not me if I do it didn't come out and cook I don't care you, you, you would it. if it was disgusting you'd be like this was my this was my like, cheat meal and a trick so to stop you eating like the whole thing because once you start you keep going back it's the sugar isn't it when it gets scared, yeah true yeah. But to freeze it in little slices, and then you've literally got it for the next few months for your children. Oh, we get this. We, um, you guys make this. Mum's always made that jam slices. Yeah, Dad loves a jam slice. <gasps> and it is so nice. Yeah, I, it's kind of like cakey, thin cakey pastry jam, and then same on top. And uh. it's if it's now, yeah, I always have it at Christmas time. I mean, Christmas is the time. I think with me, I look forward to. You know, spending time with you guys, it, it's fun. It's just like, it's, it's a laugh, isn't it? Yeah. And we, have, we have a family Christmas quiz, and um, that's just hilarious. Yeah, that the is quiz hilarious. is the best. The, literally, I cannot. The quiz just changed my life. Well, yeah, no, it's <laughs> It's hilarious. all I care about. I, I started doing it in June. <laughs> so you're, you're doing the quiz? Yeah, I'm doing it this year. And we've got um, Owen, so Eva's, bo Eva's boyfriend, exactly. Eva's husband. Yeah. And Brandon's girlfriend coming, so Come it's there. a big one. It's a big quiz. It's a lot on me, and I've got, I've got, the, I've got some good prizes. I actually, we'll talk about it in the next good one. Prizes. <laughs> they are shocking. <laughs> I saved up for them. I'm still looking at your manky finger. Yeah, it is quite oh, the manky. I am always talking about the manky finger. Is it, She's not is, it, is it growing? It's is really, it? it's about to. Well, I don't know, because essentially it should be can almost. You, can you just not, not pick it? Just leave it alone. It's so easy to pick. Though. This is a dad. I'm um, dad telling you now. Stop believing them. Mm. Right. What's what's next? What is your favorite Christmas memory? When was it? What was it? Why is it special? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have, have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm scared. It was um, one Christmas. Um, I think we were, I think about 18. Really? When, yeah, when um, I made a spliff. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. And we all had a beer. It was like, oh, yeah, it was, even, it was the best Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, was children were fucking cracking up laughing. Was it? Was it? I think it was very really like the no, year the, before. Yeah, the year before. You, you, no, no, you was no, you were about eighteen. You were really young. Okay, yeah, no, no, it was no, like, that was, you yeah, were eighteen. Yeah. No, it must have been literally like two thousand nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. I was sitting there, and I said, "No, somebody said to me, Dad." <laughs> I said, "What? Well, you know?" And I said, well, "I had a neighbour then." We allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so we allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah, that is we well, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't actually yeah. know what it was. <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. was it was something that was, you know, 
Whatever it was, it just we were chill. It was nice. How funny that is! <laughs> no, but it was, it was it was everyone was chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while, and, you, know, you don't don't think that I hadn't thought about it every Christmas. We never did again. That was allegedly very fun. <laughs> Alleged, we didn't do it. Uh, did you, did we, I think we must have dreamt it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is your first Christmas memory? I don't think it's oh, a nice one. It, my first Christmas memory. My first Christmas memory. Uh, Christmas wasn't something that we really, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't celebrate. My, I think my first Christmas memory was about 21 years old, I think. Oh, right. When I was really in this country. What was, what was happening? It's, it's, um, and what year is that in my mind here? 21. I was 21, so yeah, I mean, the 1930. <laughs> uh, it was because I was, it was Christmas and um, I wasn't doing anything. And I'm, obviously, I didn't have any family here or anything like that because I, I've always been myself by myself. And then some girl, she said to me, she asked me, um, What are you doing for Christmas? And I said, well, Nothing. I was in my room. Back back when I was a kid, Christmas wasn't really a big thing. It wasn't much of a thing. Nobody paid much attention, not as much as it is here back in the day. And um, so I was in my room chilling. And then next minute, um, somebody knocked on my door. And that girl, I was somebody I wasn't, not somebody I was going out with. Somebody I just asked me a question at work. And she had her whole family standing outside. And they brought me, that, that caught me. No. That is cute. You know, and they had a present. I don't even know what oh, it was. Oh, that is actually precious. And Dad said, people shouldn't be on... Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, my God. Don't ask me silly questions. <laughs> I won't know. Oh, I didn't know that. Christmas not really wasn't much of a thing, but that, that's when I felt like... Mm, you're missing out. Because Christmas over here is a big thing. Like, it literally takes over months. It wasn't months. when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. So I never really thought. Mm. Anyway. Right, let's talk about something else. Oh. Trying to think of my favourite Christmas memories. First one, I don't remember, we didn't do any, I didn't have any Santa things. Because Eva and Brandon, I think it was maybe Brandon, were just like, yeah, he's not real. And then you guys were like, oh, don't do that. Oh, you were like, oh, yeah, do. I think I was like, <laughs> I know, yeah. They didn't give me a chance. When you have, when you have older um, siblings, they can ruin things for you, can't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Daddy, you okay? No, no, okay, no, you just like residue. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose that they're, they're, no, I'm okay. There are things that sometimes you don't think you forget. Yeah, you yeah. Out. But it, I suppose it wasn't much of a thing. It's when you've got kids, that's when you realise that in this country, you realise that certain things are important. You know, yeah, not, yeah. It didn't mean anything to me. I didn't really think. And I remember thinking, oh, were you. I, I, at that time, I didn't think of what they'd done. I just thought, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. But the mother and dad and. All of them were suddenly looking at me and thinking, that's a bit weird. But when I think about it now... Yeah, yeah. They it, were literally like, this poor boy, he needs some love on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, I should get yeah. me now. <laughs> a little edge makes me sad. All right. Yeah, shut up. All right, what are our Christmas traditions? As we said, we have the quiz of the year. I'm actually going to tell you what the quiz prize is. Yeah. I got on the cheap. I won't tell you how. AirPods. Ooh. <laughs> and the winner of the, but it's not actually going to be determined by who wins it by points. It's not a points thing. It's going to be well, there will be points involved. It's going to be like a deal or no deal vibes where someone is just going to win it, but it's it's up to fate. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but Imagine I think we've all got AirPods though. It doesn't matter, does it? So you want spare pods? I think we're gonna rig it so you don't win it. <laughs> we'll give you something else. There are lots of um, fun little ones as well to give out. Yeah. 
I never win the, the, the quiz, anyway. No, yeah. It's, it's far you, too you, like, you, you or Brandon. Or... Eva's won it twice. I've won it once. Mum's then... won it. Has mum won it? I don't know. I've never won it, no. No, no, no. I don't think mum's won it, no. <laughs> Special foods, yeah, we have our jam slices. We have our... Mum used to make these Greek biscuits. Oh, yeah, but sometimes we make that manky, you know, the... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the cocoa, yeah. It's an African thing that we make sometimes. Mm. Yeah, I have a make... video on that. Yeah, you have a video on yeah. that, yeah. It's called Dad's favorite yeah, dinner. My favorite mm-hmm. dinner. Mm-hmm. Potto, mm-hmm. potto, mm-hmm. that's it. <laughs> a Ghanaian thing, my mum mm-hmm. told me. And then we are going to be all together on New Year's as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh, Eva's husband is coming, Owen, hopefully as and well. And you're going to um, Harry Potter. And we're going to Harry Potter World, which we, <laughs> we've been saying for so many years, oh, we're going to go there, we're going to go there. And saved up for it, and um, now we're actually going. We bought it in February, we're actually going. But Dad hates Harry Potter with <laughs> actual, dis- like, disgust, like, with pure hate. <laughs> so, I, I remember, <laughs> yeah, you asked, the first thing you asked when I told you was, is that boy going to be there? <laughs> is Daniel Radcliffe going to be there? And no, so, I, I, um, I've, I never, after the first Harry Potter, I know, the, other the first one is for kids. Like, it's so hard. I, I can't even watch it. Now. I love it's the so first one. I love the first one. After that, oh, I think, oh, yeah. so many, so many characters. So many characters. <laughs> that's, that's, it, it makes me think. That's what I didn't like. Yeah, it's it. actually quite thoughtful film. All right, we have some people's Christmas tradition stories. And then I'm going to show you some Christmas dinners to Let's make. see. Okay. <clears throat> It's 4 a.m. Christmas Eve, and all through the house, not a creature is stirring. Is this... Am I just reading the Christmas story here, Freddie? <laughs> yeah. no, not even a mouse. Suddenly, an awful, morbid wail violently penetrates the silence with a singular origin. Hello. Who's wrote this? Did you write this? My cat is <laughs> imminently going to vomit. Only a week after the wood floors were refinished. Soon after, a distinctive splat follows the and the noise stops. Scrambling groggily out of my bed, my dear old dad frantically searches the house in a state of panic and disorientation, with cleaning supplies for the vomit before it can harden. After nearly an hour of his frenzied search, he comes up empty-handed and returns to bed. Why's you, why your dad in your bed, mate? He's <laughs> bed. Yeah, go on. The next morning is a picturesque white Christmas morning, aroused by the scent of peppermint-infused coffee brewing in the gal. <laughs> I can't cope with this story. <laughs> why is did it, he write this? Why story? is it written by Charles Dickens? I don't understand. <laughs> when did he get read it? Um, my dad gets up and slides his feet into his slippers, sitting at the end of his bed. Upon his bare foot, donning the slipper, he received the squidgy Christmas present from the cat's escapade the previous night. The slippers had to be thrown out, but unfortunately the new pet was among his presents. Wood floors were also spared from harm. A Christmas miracle. Oh, that's adorable. I mean, the structure of that story was sorry, 10 yeah, out yeah. of 10. Yeah, but boo. Get yeah, your no, dad out of no. your bed, mate. <laughs> that is not a Christmas present anyone wants. I was falling asleep halfway through. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it was like a little yeah, like Christmas tale. Okay, story two. <clears throat> My sister and I stayed up really late Christmas Eve. We moved all our youngest brother's presents from under the tree and <laughs> emptied funny. his stocking. Actually, do you know what? I remember you said um, when Eva was young, she looked through all her presents the night before. Oh, always looked through all her presents. So bad. I, I think she really regretted it. I know she regretted it. She sneak and that looked through the all of them. Yeah. <laughs> We stowed all the presents behind the couch and put all of his stocking stuffers in a bag. He was eight years old. To replace them, we wrapped boxes addressed to him full of coal and Q-tips. I can't remember why we chose Q-tips. On Christmas morning, when he tore into his first box, his face dropped. He went out of turn and ripped open present number two, also coal and Q-tips. He ran into the other room where the stockings were and dumped it. It was a plastic bag filled with charcoal and Q-tips. He lost it. My parents had no idea what he, we'd done. I think my dad was ready to kick us out of Christmas morning. So my brother finally got it together and we showed him that we stashed all his toys where he put the stocking contents. He was happy as hell after that. That's funny. To this day, probably 25 years later, I still get called the Christmas Grinch by my whole family. <laughs> Everyone forgets how complicit my sister was in this. That's a really funny, That's I can't funny, lie. I if I had a younger sibling, I would be all over that. I'm actually upset that Brandon even didn't do that to me. <laughs> That's a really great story. 
That's funny. All right. <coughs> We're ranking some Christmas dinners oh, here. God, this yeah. is a school dinner, and school dinners are usually foul. Yeah, get those glasses on, man. What is this? What's that, that pink thing? I don't know, man. It looks like... What the hell? Well, I suppose you can say that. There's some green stuff over there. There's an orange. It looks sad. But that's not that. Yeah, uh, that doesn't look. No, but there's some real food there, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's not the that's cutest. That's not. No. It is sad. It's a sad song. <laughs> okay, okay. Meal two. Now that. Am I seeing baked beans? I'm a bit confused. It's so there's some sausages. There's some meat. There's look. I don't. Even, I've seen worse. Yeah, that's all right. I've that seen looks worse. really. That's not, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll eat that. I'm not sure about mixing beans, yeah. the be baked beans in, like, what is the taste saying, but... Yeah, but you know, well, you never know, I think it might be right. I put blueberries in my, whatever, that is true, that is my, true. my food, and it's quite nice. Blueberries, yeah. sprouts, and that could be nice. To be honest, I never used to really like baked beans no. until I've had some, some fry-ups that I've been like, oh. Oh, I've had baked beans on toast. This is just stuff that people eat, and they think Proper it's... Proper staple, easy. yeah. I, I remember I once I had a nutritionist saying, oh, Baked beans are on toast actually good for you because oh, shut up. Mm. This is, you look at the ingredients, all sugar in the baked beans, yeah. and then look at the toast. Carbs on carbs. Oh, crazy. Number three. <laughs> you know what? That's that is probably not that bad either. Is it? Is it um, Yorkshire pudding there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll eat that. Yeah, Christmas dinner. Yeah, that looks yeah, really decent that, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying a bit of maybe bubbling squeak. I'm not really a bubbling squeak girl, but that looks nice. It looks the like meat it. is popping off. Like, I'd be all over her. I know. And it's not overcooked. It doesn't look overcooked either. This looks nice, but it, it looks like it's lacking in something. It looks sad a bit. Um, but, but I'll eat that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It looks like a carrot. Carrot's like mashed carrot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Or maybe like and a sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato. Mash. That's it. Um, yeah. It looks all right. Mm. That's good. Mm. I'll eat that. Oh, that's the best one. That is my best one. Hundred percent. That is yes. my best one as well. I would. That's good. That's good. I would take that. I like that. <laughs> okay, this one was yeah. served at a hospital. Okay. Okay. So so is that? Um, that's rough. Is that's what it is? No, but what, what's that yellow stuff? Is it like mushroom kind of thing? <laughs> Macaroni cheese. Macaroni cheese. It's served in the hospital. Yeah, fucking good Um, it's got the, I, oh, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> but I suppose it's better, better than what they normally serve at hospital. Yeah, like if they could some, just yeah. give you some biscuits and stuff. Uh, normally, yeah. Yeah. So I suppose it's better than what they normally serve at hospital, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's I, edible. I do get shocked at the quality of the food at the hospital. Oh, no, Because that's it, where it should be the best. I know, obviously, NHS, they... Like but it's not the NHS though. I think the mainstream information about nutritionists. Yeah, more. yeah. So even the nutritionist, you know, somebody commented on my post as well. You're not a nutritionist, and somebody else said, "Well, that's a good thing," because they they they, they, they they're full of. You see a nutritionist in BBC, and they are, I'm not being funny, but she's overweight, mm. and the dietitians are overweight, and they think, "Well, you're giving people nutritional advice. What are you trying to tell people?" Yeah, like my gastroenterologist. Oh, when we went to them, he know. did not look well. He he not even healthy, just not well. Eyes and they need his eyes. He looks so tired. Like yeah. that's all we have time for. This was the Blab You podcast. Thank you. Any feedback? Let us know. We've got our Instagram page, our TikTok page. Send us your stories. Where else questions. are we? Spotify. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music. Cool. We'll rate your meals. We'll ask you questions. We'll answer your questions. Gym dilemmas. Let us know. Happy Christmas. Happy everyone. Christmas. Have a good Christmas.